Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing great. Today video I'm going to show how I make my own crushed mirror glass, requested by several people because buying a crushed mirror glass in Sydney is quite expensive. I'm talking about like half a size of this jar can cost us $9 or even more than $9 and that's not even enough to cover one small photo frame. So doing it your own is a less cost effective way for your DIY projects. Okay, so what I got here, clean glass jars. Uh, for me, it's not hard to collect them as a caffeine addict. <laughs> so clean them very well, no labels on it, clean the residue of the labels as well. And then we're going to use mirror effect spray. If you never used this before, basically you spray on the glass a couple of coats and then when you're turning the glass over it shows you the mirror mirror effect and um, you can use on the acrylic glass as well okay let's get started not heavy coats very light very light coats okay. Leave that for a couple of minutes. Go to other ones. Okay, now taking back the first one again. As you see, when it starts drying, mirror effect is start to come. Taking the first one again. Oh. That was too heavy coat there. You may see it. <laughs> Not that important as we're going to smash it all so it doesn't have to be really perfect. Now we're going to wait 10 to 15 minutes already they pretty much okay some of them really good looks like a real mirror and some of them not that so good but as I say it doesn't have to be perfect okay now we got different options we can leave it like this so that means one side is going to be a mirror and the other side is going to be a silver when we smash it or we can put different colors inside all right this one is too perfect so i'm leaving as a silver um, maybe this is silver too okay i'm gonna spray inside the gloss black gold I just gonna clean my fingerprints out all right isn't it they look just so gorgeous that you don't want to smash them <laughs> like an antique mirror Okay, now we're gonna wait 24 hours because we don't want to blotch the paint when we're smashing it. Already smashing time. First of all, protection. Wear your working gloves, your goggles. Protect the floor. When I say protect the floor, please do that because once I told my friend to do it outside and she done it in a balcony and um, she did break the tile on the balcony so <laughs> be careful about that okay we're taking the jam powder <laughs> set 
your old colander place it in another plastic sheet there and just we taking the small part Okay, now this is almost like a dusty one, but don't throw away because you may use it on another some projects when you need a very fine glass bit. And I'm going to continue to smash this a little bit more because it's got chunky pieces there. How small you want. I mean, after this, you can use very smaller colander to take the bigger parts in this almost as hint glass hint then we're taking our plastic container Ta -da. this is the black one okay let's be honest here I do not separate them as a single jars I do separate them only by color so if I have three jars of the gold I smash them all together as you see here so that way I do my job quicker before I done it for video purposes so you guys are able to see clearly maybe if I do it separately but yeah I put all the jars together and then smash them It's all gold bronzes here and for the little tiny bits no I do not separate the color I just mix them all together separate them as well so get yourself a scoop or something works like a scoop and take it then your little colander continue This way we got very tiny ones. A tiny crush mirror glass. And glass scent. Which never goes to rubbish. We will use it on something. Mm -hmm. And I just gonna keep continue to do that so I can clean all the small bits. All right, I take them upstairs, so maybe it's a bit of lighting to see because they're too shiny for the camera. Unfortunately, two of my containers downstairs has got something in it, so the gold and the black one is get a little bit oily and I need to wash them. So they're a little bit wet. So this is the gold one. And the black one. Is the silver I mean we didn't use any paint for it just the mirror effect paint so one side is silver one side is mirror and looks awesome this is the very tiny ones when it comes out from the same all mix black silver and gold 
and this is the glassing now we may use on some really nice projects <laughs> okay so as i mentioned earlier a couple of ways to making this this is how i make my own crash mirror glass so i hope you guys like it and if you do please thumbs up <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed yet you're welcome to do so and hope to see you on the next video until then take care of yourself and everything around you